it's three different uh, customer it's three different uh, 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 price positioning so it doesn't make it so difficult because of they are so much different would they be more uh, uh, aligned would they be uh, uh, in the same price category it would be impossible but because each one talks to another customer because each one has another message so it's totally different and that's why we I can manage it because of the differences and because of those differences talk to us Jean-Claude if you can about the challenges for a brand for an analog brand in really what we're seeing in a digital world we are presenting the first tag Hoyer connected watch together with Intel and Google because we believe in it this watch will look 100% like a Tag Heuer watch. You will not see the difference between a normal Tag Heuer and a connected watch of Tag Heuer. Just when you use it and when you touch the screen, ah, you will discover that it is connected, which means the watch will have the entire DNA of uh, a traditional watch uh, brand like Tag Heuer. You were talking to me about the fact that you're joining forces with Google. Many say that perhaps this could weaken the, the heritage, the brand behind um, your company, of course, and tag her. Do you think that? Or do you think that just strengthens it? I don't believe that the connected watch with Intel or Google will do any harm to our brand. On the contrary, it will probably connect to young people. And uh, every brand needs the, the new generation. Every brand needs you, uh, uh, young people. How do you com uh, c communicate, Jean-Claude, the, the heritage as well as the identity of Swiss made to the younger generation? How do you, how do you communicate that message? There are two different uh, ways. Number one, the product must be uh, uh, exciting for these people. Uh, the product must uh, look attractive. The product must be in, in, in very avant-garde materials. Our uh, a connected watch will be in a new material. Um, and then number two, we also communicate to these young people through uh, uh, other ways of communication. Social media is very important. Mm. We are so active now with Tag Heuer in the social media. Then we communicate also to this new generation through other uh, 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 ambassadors. You're a face that many people recognize within the industry. Talk to us a bit about some of the challenges in terms of mistakes that perhaps you've made. What have you learned from your mistakes? <laughs> I do mistake every day. <laughs> and thanks God, <laughs> thanks God I do them, which means that I'm active. Only people who sleep do not make mistakes. What is important, the older you get, the more mistake you must do, but the less the mistake must have uh, consequences, which means you are wise. I couldn't agree more. We benefit a lot from the mistakes we make on every, on every day. And, and Jean-Claude, you know, you're the chairman of Hublot, the president of LVMH Watch Division. If you weren't in charge of these two brands, what company would you like to be managing? You can't tell me Apple or any, or any of the big brands. What other brand do you admire and why? I uh, admire one of my partners, which is Ferrari. Ferrari is an incredible brand because it's known by 99% of the people who cannot afford it. <laughs> and this is genius. 